Hi everybody, I'm Sally and welcome to Out of My Tree. Today I'm going to show you some of the great things that I found when I went thrifting. To try to find a picture frame that I could use to frame one of my Dollar Tree mats. It was one of the Dollar Tree placemats that they had a couple months ago that said blessed. I have been looking forever to find something. I know Michaels and Hobby Lobby have excellent frames, but I thought, let's go thrifting and see if we could find one that was a little bit cheaper. So here's some of the footage that I took. So my search led me to these three frames and I put them together in order to compare them because each one had a certain style element that I really admired. And it was an amazing find. I can't wait to get it home. See which one I pick. I ended up finding this excellent picture. I love it because it has this fluted structure, the great graceful handle, and then even a little bit of the copper on the bottom. And even though I am going to make this over a little bit, I thought this would be a great find to put in the middle of our table. So watch me make over these excellent thrifting finds. I knew as soon as I found this picture that it was destined to have my Waverly chalk paint makeover. So I used the color of plaster, which is a nice creamy warm white color. It's a little bit warmer than the white chalk paint. I did two coats and I was not paying attention to being very neat with it because I didn't mind the metal showing through. And that's all, it looks really nice. And here's the finished project sitting on a shelf in my dining room. So I chose my frame. The next thing that I needed to do was to turn it over and remove all of the staples that were holding the backing to the frame itself. This is where I decided to take the placemat and size it inside of the picture frame, along with several different scrapbooking papers as a background and decide which one I like the best. And this is the one I chose. Next, I began painting the frame with the same Waverly chalk paint in plaster. Again, I was not being careful at all in doing this. I was also unsuccessful to get the glass out of the frame so I just decided to leave it in instead of breaking it and a method that you can do when you get paint especially chalk paint on items just take a little bit of alcohol rub it on and it wipes off very easily making a nice clean surface After two coats of the plaster color, I dry brushed on some Waverly Antique Wax in brown. Then I moved on to adhering the scrapbook paper and the blessed placemat to the cardboard picture that was inside the frame originally. I used the Aliens Tacky Glue that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Again, I am not trying to be neat, just trying to make sure that all of the corners of the scrapbook paper as well as the placemat are all coated in this paint. What I found was when you're working with different mediums like this placemat being more of a rubberized plastic and the scrapbook paper being paper, it was much easier to meld them together this way. And this is how it came out. I am so pleased with the look of it. Thank you, Dollar Tree. So, do you have any DIY thrifting adventures you've been on? Please comment below, subscribe, and like this video. 